One thing that you might want to do is client side cropping. Basically you might have images on your page that are a certain size that you may not have control over. Say for example you're getting images from YouTube and the images don't look the way you want or they have black bars at the top and you need to get rid of them. Well this is how you do it. First let me show you how YouTube is doing it and we're going to mock that. Okay, So you can see here this is the YouTube channel and you can see that these images look perfectly fine. But if we inspect the elements we'll see a different story that when we hover over here the image is actually a 120 by 90 and it has black bars on the top and the bottom. I found that out when I got a feed from YouTube and I realized that all the images had black bars on them. So that was really ugly. So basically they're cropping the images when they get to here. How they do that? Well the image is wrapped in a parent a tag. The A tag has display block overflow hidden on it. Without either or both of these, you can see that the effect doesn't work. Okay? The other thing is on the A tag, I know these CSS rules are down here, but they are applied to the A tag. Without the height and width, well really just the height because the black bars are on the height, um, the effect also doesn't work. Okay, so you need the height and you need overflow hidden and display block. The image itself now has a margin top applied to it that moves where the image is in the crop. So if I get rid of that, you can see, okay, it cropped it, but now we need to move it up 10 pixels. Bam, 10 pixels up. We could increase this, and you can move it up the other way. Okay. So if you cropped in small enough, you can see how you could be able to move the image around inside of the crop. Okay. The other thing is this height and width here, these don't matter. It's not changing anything. Okay. So let's look at how to do this for ourselves. So here on the videos page, um, we'll pull up some code here of basically this is um, just jQuery and then we're just using the YouTube JSON API it's gonna call our show my videos function which loops through all of the videos that I have and gives me each of the high quality images okay I'm not really gonna go in right now how I got all this but just know that it works so I'm gonna console.log out the images refresh this. So this down here, these are all the images that I have of videos, and these are the high quality, as in they're big. Okay, so let's first put these on the page and see what they look like. So to do that, we need to create an image uh, using jQuery, like that e image equals, and the reason I'm using the dollar sign here is to let myself know that that's a jQuery object, right? So image, we'll create it like that, and then we'll say dot attribute source okay equals oops, source equals that image okay and that's how you create the image now we need to append that to the body so we'll grab the body uh, like this and then we'll say dot append and then image okay so now we'll take a look at it and when we refresh here's all the images okay but you can see here that there's these ugly black bars all over every single image so we need to crop each image so the first thing is that we need a parent element so I know these are going to be clickable later, but for now, let's just use a div as the um, as the parent element. Okay, so we need a parent element, so we'll create a div, and we'll say that equals div just like that. And now we're going to apply some CSS to that. Okay, and we need those four properties. We need the um, we need a height, we need a width, we need a uh, display display, and we need the overflow. Okay, we need all four of these for this to work. Overflow. Okay, and that's going to be uh, hidden. And this one's going to be display block. And the width is going to be, uh, well, I want the resolution of all my shots to be 1280 by 720, which is 720p. However, I want a third of that. I don't want these images to be that big. So I found out that that's 320 by 180 so I want the width to be 320 pixels by the height which is 120 pixels and there needs to be a colon 120 120 pixels okay just like that comma 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 no comma okay so that's, that's the CSS uh, now if we look at it we're not going to see too much of a change we are going to see a little bit I am have an error with a brace uh, that would be that should not be a colon it should be a semicolon refresh okay so now we haven't changed too much you really can't tell the difference uh, if it did anything at all but we need to set the margin top let me actually uh, make sure that this div is actually being created okay so we did it but we didn't actually put the image inside the div so let's do that so div dot append image and now we're gonna append uh, actually we need to create the image so that then that 
right? So let me uh, write that down. We're going to say create create the image. This would be create the div, and this would be add the image to the div, and this would be add both to the body. Okay, so now we need that to be that. Okay, so now we refresh the page and we get all of our stuff. Now the problem is, you can see that there's a giant black bar on the bottom of all of these shots. Okay, now that's because we didn't do the margin top yet. So let's do the margin top of the image. So this will just chain the CSS margin top, right? We want it to be negative 30. I just got that number by playing with it. Negative 30 negative 30 pixels I should say and refresh and there you go now you have screenshots now my size looks kinda awkward so let's take a look at why okay I noticed that uh, this 120 is supposed to be 180 because 720 divided by 3 is not 120 save that refresh and there we go okay so these are the wide screen shots that I was looking for okay so you can see here that now they're not perfect. You can see that there's still some black up here, but for the most part, they are all the right size images cropped to exactly how I wanted them now uh, to these wide screens. Now the reason this black is here, it's not that it's extra space. It's that that's how the that there's black in the shot that far down. So if I really want all that gone, I can move the screenshot now, just like I showed you earlier. So we're going to move the screenshot from negative 30 to say negative 50. So we're going to kind of center the screenshot. A there's no black anywhere on the edges, and I have perfect widescreen screenshots for everything. Now, one thing I want to do is make this into a jQuery plugin because uh, because I want to, and I want to show you how. So uh, let's start off by making this into a plugin. So function pass in jQuery bracket opening bracket I should say closing bracket closing parenthesis, and that's going to pass in jQuery like that okay that's the beginning then we need to uh, call the function dollar sign dot fn dot crop equals a function and we're gonna pass in the width the height and that margin adjustment like that and that actually should be yeah that is like that okay good now we need to uh, return this dot each which is a function that way we're returning jQuery so we can chain. Okay. Now, uh, this is pretty simple. First, we have, let's set the image to the image is now the, this object. Okay. Basically, we're gonna we're gonna call this on the image itself. So, image we're we're gonna be this. Okay. We're gonna grab the images for this. So, image will be this. Okay. Uh, then, we want to take the image, and well, we want to we want the parent. See, for this to work, it has to have a parent. So we could check for the parent, we're not going to, we just know that we want to set the CSS as the parent. Just like down here, we set it to the div, we're just going to grab the parent. So dot parent, dot CSS, okay, like that. And now I'm, I'm just going to copy this, straight copy it, like that, and straight paste it here. Now one thing I want to do, first fix my spacing, this height is going to be H, this width is going to be W, like that. And that's done. Now I want to change. I want to uh, put this the margin top CSS on. I I can't chain it down here because we have the parent selected. I could do end dot um, dot CSS. This would also this would work um, because I'm basically what end does is it says okay th this was my selection. I changed my selection. And so n says, let's go back to this selection. So n.css margin top, comma, uh, and that will be m. Okay? So that's the plugin. So down here, what we have to do then is we'll create the image just like we did before, um, just like this. And then we're just, so we create the image. Then we need to create the div, right? So then we'll create the div, which is going to be div equals. And, and the reason we're doing this is because we're creating this all on the fly. You will already have these elements on the page. You won't have to do this part. Okay? So div, we've created the div. Now we need to append that image. And the reason I'm doing this in this order is because I need to have a parent already. So now we'll just take the image. So, so again, this part will already be on your page. I'm creating these dynamically. So image.crop 
we want it to be 320 by 180 with a negative 50 margin like that and call it a day and then we'll put the whole thing on the body so get rid of that get rid of this and now assuming that all worked save this should give us the same effect now this plugin this crop plugin okay basically you can now crop images again I reiterate because I know it seems complicated and not really useful of a plugin but this you won't have to create the images dynamically you'll grab images on your page and then crop them okay that's how you'll use this so there you go jQuery plugin and uh, client-side cropping with jQuery and CSS